Hey everyone, and welcome to my video on Fortnite. Except, it's not going to be on me playing Fortnite. It's going to be on how is Fortnite addicting and why is it addicting and what are the effects. So first of all, I noticed something about a YouTuber known as Laserbeam, how he became a Fortnite channel. Except, it happened after he got his first win, implying that you get a massive burst of dopamine and you want that massive burst of dopamine again and again and again and it won't stop. Well, basically what? I, which is basically like a drug, essentially. Like, you can't live without it or something. Get off of you, bug. It's like the whole, I have to say the worst thing about it is, is that like, then you can't live without it. And then there's some guy who apparently actually couldn't live without it. I'm not kidding, like, that one's video, it was like, it got very disturbing, like how he couldn't drink water. He had to drink from, he had to drink a healing potion from a chug jug or whatever the hell that means. Like he full on, like that diet went too far. Like, I'm not kidding, like. Like, Fortnite ruins people. All because of your first win. And after that first win, the whole dopamine rush, yada yada yada. It's like a drug or whatever. There's some bug on me. Looks like it might be a bee. I assume we just want shelter from the hot weather, okay, this is getting off topic. Basically, Fortnite is kind of like a drug, essentially. There's only the basics, and then there is what you actually can't stop playing, which is bad. Like, apparently it went to a cultural phenomenon, which I hate because like, people can't stop playing, which is pretty annoying to me. Oh, no worries. And if that wasn't bad enough, after, after a long break from my dad's house, oh, oh, uh, that wasn't bad enough, a YouTuber called Laserbeam that I enjoyed in the past started making, started playing, like, only Fortnite, which was uh, annoying. <sighs> like, it ruined Ali A, but I don't care. And then he started talking about how his videos were being monetized, except the only reason because of that would have had to been Fortnite, because it is a kid's game at this point for some unknown reason, even though you really should not let a three-year-old play it. Hmm. And to make matters worse, overall, I have not gotten a single win in this in the game, because I don't want to, and I'm glad I never have and I never will. Like, like Fortnite, like I, I hate it. I'm not a big fan of shooter games, and and, and, and it only gets worse because it's a battle royale that people like. You apparently get bullied if you don't have enough skins. My friend Alex was bullied on his birthday because he didn't play Fortnite and didn't pay money for skins. I'm going to say buy V-Bucks to buy skins. was real money. Yeah, on his birthday. If that wasn't bad enough, I've, always ta I've already talked about how Liz Beam's YouTube channel was ruined because he was got addicted to Fortnite. Oh, oh, and it gets worse. Literally, after like at least like... After like, after a long time without seeing, going to my dad's house, I, I, go, to my, I go to my dad's house, oh guess what happens, my little brother Ethan is actually addicted to Fortnite, he even did a, he even did a fucking Fortnite dance, 
in front of people while they were eating dinner. Yeah. This is the extent of the problem. Yeah, I get it. It's a cultural phenomenon. I, I really don't care. Like, like, it, this is not even a good game. It's just a game mode. Like, oh, Epic Games, they don't care. They just want to make more money. They, they could probably, like, buy a, they could probably, like, buy a small country by now. And then sell it for half the price and buy it again. <sighs> oh, no worries. Oh, oh, you're on the side note. Of game companies with weird black logos. The people made Bashy Blocks Icon Games Entertainment. The, the, the company's now called Super Icon or something. I don't, I don't know. I'll look into that after I look into the whole... Actual Fortnite addiction. <sighs> this is not good. Oh, and all because you get got your first victory royale. That's what I meant to say. Hashtag one victory royale. It's the whole Ali A explaining. Because, like, it must be. Well, Minecraft had a bad fan base, but it wasn't that bad. Well then, there was a whole news thing about Minecraft YouTube was being like child molesters or rapists or something at one point, but I don't know why that happened. Yeah, whole Microsoft owning Minecraft, they ruined it or whatever by wasting their just storage with skins or whatever that no one cared about. But nope, people care about skins in Fortnite, and apparently, only with a for some reason, it's mostly black people at that, from what I've from what I've learned in my math class in tenth grade. I thought Fortnite would have died out by now, but nope, it hasn't. It's just getting stronger. To be honest, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Like Fortnite has just ruined people. It's ruining people. It's ruining culture. It's ruining YouTube. It's Everything ruining children. Apparently, dabbing is still a thing. For some reason, I don't know why. And to make matters worse, like I don't. Originally, I didn't want to play Fortnite because it didn't look interesting and looked dumb. I, I'd say Fortnite is an Okay-ish, decent game. Well, then again, then there was the whole case where some guy named Vinny played Fortnite, except for some reason, he didn't become a Fortnite streamer, implying he was immune to it all. So the issue is... What age is required for Fortnite to have its addictive effects happen? And what personality does it... I, I know as much as I'm pretty sure a laid-back person that's an adult wouldn't be affected. Just, ah, ah, ah. Like, full-on... I, I can't even call Fortnite a good game. It's a bad game. It's free-to-play, except, nope, the Battle Royale mode is free-to-play. Which is stupid. Well, here's what. Let's just why it's a trend. The whole free to play battle royale mode thing is obvious. Honestly, I kind of want. Uh, I can see why PUBG wants to sue them. They they literally stole all of its all their players, proceeded on to actually. Uh, for, proceeded on to turn them into mindless people that pay money for stupid skins. And honestly, like there was the whole Hero Brian and Entity Real Street thing in Minecraft, but really, those were most fake things. Like the Hero Brian thing was probably, I'm pretty sure it was the name of the person who reported the whole fake second player glitch thing in the alpha build. And the Entity Real Street one, I'm pretty sure it was just some guy. 
pranking them. Some someone's friend pranking some guy playing with his friend. Eh, sure, but the, I don't know why there's no bad Fortnite creepy pastas or, or anything like that yet. It just oh, and it gets worse. Disney XD is making a Fortnite show. A Fortnite show. Oh my, oh, uh, that is just, no, no, I don't want to watch it, that's, a, Fortnite's not even a good game, can't even call it a good game, can't even call it a fun game, can't even call it a decent game, it's a bad game, well, is, isn't Call of Duty Online just, just bunch of people going online in a shooter game and shooting each other? A lot, then losing, then joining on to a different match with different players. Aren't they the same thing? It's like I've only played Call of Duty like once. Was one of my was one of my cousins at my grandma Gloria's house. It, it it wasn't interesting. It was just a lot of shooting and vibrating controllers. Eh, sure. Well, I didn't. I don't know. Like, apparently, the, the next Call of Duty game they're doing a like. And we don't need a campaign. You can need to give him a monthly fee for our internet, and we're still doing a battle royale mode instead, towards more of a limited time thing. That wastes data on your device. That's stupid. Like, I hate the battle royale trend. Like, it's when it's Fortnite, that is the biggest one. Like, and then, I'm like, like, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know when Fortnite will stop. And a combination with its whole addictive nature, it's also a trend because it's free to play and it's addictive because your first victory of Royale and it's kind of like, like meth, LSD, heroin, cigarette, marijuana type garbage, except not harmful and won't kill you. You know, unless you play it constantly without eating or drinking or pooping or peeing, then then that's the only way it can kill you. But still, I can't respect it because never was anything respectable. I feel it's gone on for a bit for a little too long in the spotlight. It's ruined YouTube. It's ruined people's lives. It's 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 it, it, it's ruined the internet. It's ruined the youth. Eh, kind of like dabbing, and and it's keeping dabbing alive, which I hate. Which that's another notable thing. <sighs> this, like honestly, another fact that Louis even privatized his first three Fortnite videos where he didn't win and wasn't good at the game. Implying that, that you don't want people to know that you were once terrible at the game. <sighs> like, I really don't know at this point. Like, Fortnite has ruined everyone. It's ruined everything. Best bet is, your best bet is to ignore it, like I've been doing. Like, and for some reason. Like, I'm actually intimidated by trying to play it. Or were even wanting to play it. But apparently, unlike other games, it's not like, oh, I'm enjoying it. Oh, I can actually walk out and eat. Nope. It's more like some stupidly addictive garbage that won't go away. <sighs> and to make matters worse, it won't just won't stop. I feel like I'll make a DeviantArt account and make a fan fiction about some some fake guy's addiction to Fortnite. And like how it slowly drives him to And then, and then, and then like I don't like yeah, I, 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 I might do that. To get to to get a point across in a very extreme, messed up way like Pete has done with their horrible propaganda games. I, I might actually do that. I'm considering it currently. Next time I'll be looking at some guy's 
people's addictions to Fortnite that are ruining their life, that are ruining, that are ruining their, that are ruining their lives in the next video on this horrible thing that is Fortnite. Like, oh ha ha, that's not Fortnite cringe, when in reality people are being mentally damaged. Like, no. Like, no one wants this. No one wants this Fortnite garbage. Like, it's not good. It's, it's bad. It is really, really bad.